There are more than 1,700 sworn Milwaukee police officers, but how many are vaccinated against COVID-19 remains a mystery. We're probably about 300, 400 officers and detectives who are not vaccinated. Uh, and that number could be a little bit higher. I've also heard that it's probably around 50-50 too. So nobody seems to know exactly how many are unvaccinated. Police okay. and fire employees and unions are exempt from the citywide mandate announced Tuesday. At this moment, yeah, we're going to fight it. Um, but we're also going to negotiate with the city. Police Association President Dale Borman says while they suggest officers get the vaccine, they won't force it. Given how close police officers come in contact with the public, is it in their best interest and the public's best interest to be vaccinated? I think it's probably more in the best interest of an officer um, to be vaccinated, but there are officers out there who are saying I'm not going to get the, the vaccination based on religious or medical reasons. Um, that's on them. Borman says any officer who has symptoms or tests positive for COVID is out immediately. How is the vaccine any, of, any different than any other workplace safety issue? That's, that's a hard question. But Every individual person has a right to do whatever they want to their own body. The fire department will also enter those negotiations with the city. The fire chief telling us that they too haven't been keeping track of who's vaccinated, but they estimate anywhere between 50 and 70 percent are. When you hear 50 percent of MPD is vaccinated, right. the other 50, but what if there's an outbreak? Do we lose half the officers? I agree. I, I in that's the hard part of this whole thing. In Milwaukee, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. The police union says they're hoping for a quick compromise with the city. They're advising unvaccinated officers to wait until the negotiations are finalized before making any decisions.